traditional, iconic, famous, successful, historic. These are some of the main adjectives related with an old brand. A British jewel that sparkled a lot among the first cafe racers in the world. And the Thruxton is alive since 2004. Twelve years later, the moment of retirement arrived. Because there is a new kid in town. It's not every day that a new triumph is born. And by the rarity of such event, I think it deserves a video about it. Especially when the changes are profound, as never before. Welcome. To Racer TV. This is the new Triumph Thruxton. A completely new motorcycle. Everything is different from the previous model. Especially the stance. I know exactly what you thought after seeing it for the first time. This one. And also this one. A Ducati Sport Classic. And the Royal Enfield Continental GT. Am I right? I usually don't appreciate similarities with competitors. But this time, I think Triumph did a great job. It still looks a British machine, with an Italian flavor. Something never done before. And I like it. Despite Triumph presenting five new machines for this year, I will concentrate only on the Thruxton model. Especially, the Thruxton R. Because according to Triumph, it's the closest as a manufacturer can get to a road legal cafe racer machine. And therefore, the most interesting of all. These five new models include six speed gearboxes, standard ABS, and switchable traction control. The new engine is now a high compression 1.2 with a lot more torque than the previous generation. 62% more to be exact. The differences between the normal Thruxton and the R version are not only cosmetic. As you can see, the suspension and brakes are totally different. But I'm not going to describe all the technical data I'm more interested in the design perspective. I think there's something strange with the front headlight. You won't find nothing wrong in this photograph. But when we see the profile, that's where we find the problem. Looks too prominent for this kind of lines. I made some changes on Photoshop, and I think it became much better. This made me wonder, why Triumph designers didn't saw this improvement. I'm only guessing here, but I think they made it on purpose. And why? Because, if it were perfect, the new owners wouldn't want personalizing it. That's why Triumph created hundreds of accessories for the new Thruxton. 
including this beautiful 60s style bikini fairing. This is how the front headlight problem can be solved. In general, Triumph wants you to finish the bike, according to your personal taste. And I think they nailed it. Because, that's exactly, what we like to do. Thank you, for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.